Good morning students. Welcome yet again to our English classroom. Today we are going to deal with a poem. Okay, we literally in India we keep telling it's poem poem. It's actually pronounced as poem. P O E is silent and M poem. So let us read the first poem of the unit. What does it deal about? Naturally, it is dealing about something related to space and who goes to space? Astronomers, isn't it? So, let us see what this poem is dealing about. I am going to read the poem or poem and it was written by Walt Whitman. Who has written this poem? It is written by Walt Whitman. Okay? And let us see what is the content of the poem. Actually, it is differentiating between two learning capacity, how we learn things. Now, you have two different ways. Uh, in the lockdown period, you are studying through online. Now, tell me the, uh, do you like online learning better or the classroom learning, the natural way of real life learning? the difference okay you will know it better than i explaining it to you yes classroom learning we can ask the teacher whenever you have a doubt isn't it and in the online learning also sometimes you may uh, uh, put in a question but the answer may be coming a little later okay because maybe there is a problem in the net and you are not able to connect you don't have the pc in your house so you have a lot of problems creeping up now let me come back to the poem it is telling about academic learning and experimental learning here totally different concept what is the meaning of academic yes what we are studying through the text now, if you are supposed uh, taken out and you are studying the same text by doing something, okay, you are looking at the grass and learning about the grass instead of studying theoretically inside the classroom, you are sitting and reading this is green in color, this uh, grows tall, this is short and when you are taken out by your science teacher and you literally touch the grass, there is a difference, isn't it? You learn it thoroughly there. Okay? So, let us read the poem and understand what they are telling us. When I heard the learned astronomer, so somebody is taking the class just like me. Who is taking the class? An astronomer. Now, who is an astronomer? Anybody knows? Yes, those who are talking those you know, about the space, about the stars, about the sun, etc. They give classes to the other students. Okay, just like you all sitting there and listening to the teacher, there also there is a lecturer. The college level teachers are known as lecturers. Okay, and they literally give you what? Lectures. So, let us begin the poem. When I heard the learned astronomer, when the proofs, the figures were ranged in columns before me, when I was shown the charts and diagrams to add, divide and measure them, when I sitting heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room. How soon? unaccountable I became tired and sick till rising and gliding out I wandered off by myself in the mystical moist night air and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the stars so this poet is trying to convince us that we can't learn much inside the classroom Theoretically, theory, only theory, we are reading something, okay? And when you go out and look for yourself, you experiment it. You are touching it, you are looking at it, you are gazing at it, okay? 
and you understand yes this is much much better than what i am learning inside the classroom just reading the story and looking at the story will not do any good for example i'll give you a theory you are reading the concept feathered friend last time we were learning about feathered friend now if i make a movie and put it in the cl classroom video for you you will get a better effect isn't it you are seeing that the canary is tip, uh, going forward then it cannot fly it is uh, breaking its wings it's coming down it's falling down and all that you are literally seeing that and you grasp that okay so that is a main thing let me read once again line by line and explain it to you when i heard the learned astronomer so somebody very very experienced somebody very much educated you know they keep learning graduate post graduate again they are learning to for phd and all that so he is a very learned person who is standing there and lecturing means doing the teaching part when the proofs the figures were arranged in columns before me so naturally while teaching just as i have written over there the astronomer also started drawing graphs then what else figures then columns what is the meaning of graphs figures proofs and all they have given you the meaning over there theories and mathematical equation for example hema ma'am is teaching you maths right so all the equations the graphs are all on the board and you are literally gazing at it and you are trying to understand yes this growth is like this the growth of india is going down the growth of america is going up and all that so you are literally trying to understand it okay theoretically and again you are telling you are trying to understand what should be divided what should be added subtraction you studied isn't it okay so this astronomer this poet and the astronomer were inside the class same classroom and this uh, poet was also listening to this astronomer and he was fidgeting because he understood that lot of clapping is going on applaud means clapping okay clapping of hands because he the lec lecture was so good but our poet did not understand anything and he was lost in his own world so he decided something how soon unaccountable i became tired and sick so naturally when you don't understand that lecture when you are not understanding for example english language and you are getting bored and tired and you want to just run out of the classroom just the same thing happened to the poet till rising and gliding out i wandered off my myself so he left the classroom and he wandered himself he was thinking but he knows he remembers what the lecture was about and he is uh, trying to think by wandering wandering means what he is going around leisurely outside in the mystical moist night air and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the stars so what did he do he wanted to naturally experience that in real life so in the night time he just wandered outside and what did he do he looked up at the stars and he yeah, he thought a different way what was inside the classroom was not there now in his mind he totally was transformed by the beauty of that star outside the sky outside he started admiring it for himself he is experiencing something different out of the classroom did you understand that is the main difference here academic is different and experiencing is different you actually have to experience whatever is inside the text through your own way did you understand we can just teach you but you have to have your own thought that how can i learn this through experiment 
yes by experimenting means by doing it yourself you are doing you are going outside you are gazing at the star and you are saying yes it is a beautiful star how did it uh, begin yes yeah, in the first chapter you have that eric isn't it eric is describing about the star how was the star born when you read that lesson you are almost familiar with that concept of space exploration the sun you know children the sun is also a star big star okay so let us remember this and the and this poet was a journalist also and an essayist okay so read the poem and the theme is learning uh, different ways two different ways the difference between the learning the style of learning is either through academic or experimental so which is better so this poet is telling experimental stages better thank you students